Hi everyone, it's James in Japan. It is September 26th, 2021. I'm going to make Japanese chicken stew for dinner. I'm going to a supermarket to pick up some items. Let's go in. I'm going to need an onion, carrots, potatoes, chicken, and this chicken stew stock, which is a block. I'll show it to you. First, hand sanitizer. I have some of the items. Oh, I'm going to need milk as well. But I do have milk. So if you want to buy milk, okay, that is homogenized milk. It's 188 yen. Okay, you need milk. I have water. So let's go and see how much chicken is. I have chicken and I have broccoli. Oh, you're gonna also need broccoli. I'm using frozen broccoli. Let's see how much is chicken. Chicken can be 69 yen per 100 grams. Okay, that's how much. Depending on how much chicken you want, I would buy chicken breast. Like for 296 yen or 416 yen. Okay, here it is. Here is the chicken stock. Where is it? Here it is. Chicken stew. Hokkaido shikyu cream stew. It is for 248 yen. It's really easy to make. 248 yen. Or 198 yen for a bag. If you just want one onion, it is 58 yen. Okay, so potatoes. One potato costs 88 yen. That's not worth it. Okay, I have no choice. Those onions look fresh. I already have onions. I don't need onions. I just need potatoes. So 198 yen for a bag of two, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. These are from Hokkaido. That should be enough. Okay, and that. Okay, potatoes, carrots. Okay, that, I, I don't need carrots, I have carrots. A bag of carrots is 198 yen. They're free for 198 yen. Or just one carrot for 78 yen. Okay, I have carrots, I don't need carrots. Broccoli. You can put whatever ingredients you want, whatever vegetables you want. I don't see broccoli. Okay, it is broccoli. Now fresh broccoli, let's see how much fresh broccoli is. Fresh broccoli is 198 yen for one head. So one of them is 198 yen. I already have broccoli, so I don't need it. Okay, I have this, and that is it. Okay, and I have milk, so let's go back to my place and I'll show you how to make it. 373 yen. Hi everyone, I'm in my kitchen and uh, this is what I'm going to make. Chicken cream shichu. This is the box that I bought at that supermarket. It has instructions on the back. If I follow the instructions, this feeds up to three to four people, but I'm feeding more than that, so I'm going to double everything. These are the ingredients. You need the cream stew, 
half box. I'm going to use the whole box. You can use either chicken or pork. It says 200 grams. This is all metric. Tamanegi, which is an onion. One medium size onion, 200 grams. Jagaimo means potatoes. One medium size, 150 grams. I'm using a lot. You'll see. Ninjin are carrots. It says use half a carrot. I need salad oil. I'm going to use olive oil. Uh, I need to use water, 400 milliliters. If I follow the directions here, I'm going to use 750. If I'm using a lid, I use 650 milliliters of water. Okay, and um, I'm going to use the same amount of milk, 125 milliliters. Okay, and I am going to use broccoli. It doesn't say to use broccoli, but I'm going to use broccoli. Okay, let's look at my ingredients. I've already cut up everything. Here's chicken breast. Cut them up as small as you want. Potatoes. Broccoli. Oops. Onions. Carrots. Here's my milk. Olive oil measuring cup pot and I need to get water I do this slightly different I am going to use a frying pan to fry up the meat I want the meat caramelized it'll taste better if I followed the instructions on the box I would cook the meat and vegetables on medium heat but I'm doing it differently a little bit of olive oil you don't need to add any salt or pepper or butter I'm just going to brown it up to give it some extra flavor. If you live in Japan, you're going to love eating this. Okay, I'm going to let this fry up a bit. I'll be back. Okay, it's looking good. Take a look. Okay, I'm going to move the chicken into the pot. Now I'm going to cook up the vegetables. I will put in the potatoes, carrots, they take time to cook. I'll put in the onions and broccoli after. Caramelize these. I'll be right back. Okay, you can tell the potatoes are a little brown. That's the way I like them. It adds more flavor and uh, it'll cook a lot faster. Okay, then I'm going to transfer the potatoes and carrots into the pot. Okay, then I'm going to cook everything all together between low and medium heat. I'm going to add the water. This is 650 milliliters of water and I'm going to let it cook for 20 minutes. Okay, I'm following the directions on the box. So if you plan to make this, do the same thing. And I'm cooking for more than four people. Maybe eight people. 
Okay, so this is low to medium, low to medium. Okay, and I am going to put a lid. I forgot to cook up my onions and broccoli. I'll just put everything in now. Okay. Don't put the milk in yet. That'll be at the end. And bury everything. Get down there, potatoes and carrots. Get down there, onions, broccoli. Okay, and now I'm gonna put the lid on and I'll be back in 20 minutes. Here, I'll be back in 20 minutes. It's been about 20 minutes. It's time to put in these blocks. I'm going to put all of them in. Now, if you were following the directions exactly, you would put half, okay, half of the blocks in. Okay, they come in like... They look like these. And I'm going to cook this on medium heat. Okay, these little blocks go right in. These are flavored. No salt, no pepper, no butter is needed. Mmm, it smells wonderful. Okay, that's, that's it. Just push them in. Okay, let the soup dissolve the blocks. I'm gonna put the lid back on and let it dissolve. I'll let it cook for a while and then I'll put in the milk. After I put in the milk, this is 125 milliliters of milk. I'll let it cook for about five more minutes. I'll be back. It's time to check on the stew. Okay, the blocks have dissolved and it is looking thicker. Look at that. It smells wonderful. It's so... Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't wait to sink my teeth into this. Okay, I'm going to add the milk. And cook this on low heat for about five minutes. First I'll stir it. Now it's looking creamy. Chicken cream stew. Oh, that is fantastic. Okay, just gonna let it cook for another five minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, it's about five minutes and let, oh my God, it looks fantastic. Well, look at this. Dinner is ready. Dinner is ready. Look at it. Look at that. Yeah, I can't wait to eat it. Okay. It smells good. The vegetables seem soft. Here goes. Mmm! Delicious. Delicious, guys. Okay, guys. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to enjoy my dinner. Try this.